Uh, I know that I've seen a lot of different guys use different setups for baited conda bears. And uh, you know, those are actually probably better than what I use, but man, they take what seems like a long time. So just start to finish what I do. Got my conda bear, got my hole cut, got some bait. In this case, it's a big uh, white onion and I have two steaks. And then uh, I keep my cotton bears like this with a piece of wire on them. So I come up the hole and I can just unwire that guy. And my gloves are sticking to the trap. So if you just dip it in the water, it'll keep your, your gloves from sticking at least for a few seconds until it freezes up. Put the bait on there. Okay, triggering dog up on the top. Long pole in there. And like I said, I try to put these close to the bottom. So I just set it like that. And then at this point, I can set my trap. Put that on, take my safeties off. So some guys wire their safeties up and stuff like that. And I even have some with little rubber bands on it and stuff like that. Uh, that's fine. You know, it's another extra step. So all I do is when I turn upside down like this, I just make sure this safety is all the way down and resting on the outside and this other one is out of the way so that's it now I just take this stick put it through the ring in there and wire this guy up so I didn't time that but it's probably you know under a minute that I can get these set in so like I said I, I'm sure I'm certain it's not the best technique but I when I see other guys spending 10 and 15 minutes to put in one set uh, it bothers me so that's that's how I do my beta 330s most of the time I mixed up a little bit but that's my usual go-to set